Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are a bit late on starting, which is not very good, but we intend to finish on time. I'm Celestino Bua from Makere University, a member of uh, the Inroad Uganda chapter. I, this morning, I'm going to be moderating this uh, plenary session, uh, which is mainly we want to look at uh, pharmaceutical system strengthening. Uh, as you all know, a lot of efforts, both in terms of finances and human resources, have been pumped into ensuring that pharmaceuticals are available. We have had um, efforts to ensure that, especially in this era of HIV AIDS, pharmaceuticals are available and accessible to every individual that needs it. But to a certain extent, these efforts have not been very successful. This morning, we have the opportunity to rethink what does it take or what does it need to ensure that we don't only improve access to pharmaceuticals, but we also improve services that are related to pharmaceuticals. So ladies and gentlemen, without wasting so much time, uh, they, I have five presenters in front here this morning. They are going to give us topical issues related to improving access uh, to pharmaceuticals and services from various aspects. And we will be able to get opportunity to discuss. I'm not too sure whether uh, there will be uh, microphones available in the auditorium. Uh, we will ensure that uh, we allocate some time for discussion. The presenters will generally uh, make short presentations between 10 to 15 minutes, and then there will be time to discuss and also to generate ideas. The main topic this morning is we need to understand what, what do we need to rethink? Is there a need for us to think of a new paradigm and as we consider pharmaceutical systems strengthening, uh, especially in uh, low-income countries. Let me take the opportunity and the honor to present to you the first speaker, Dr. Akhtare Mamtaz, is a senior of Sorry, Ms. Akta Mamtaz, a senior official of the government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. She joined the Bangladesh Civil Service in 1986 and over the 25 years served in various capacities in different ministries. Before joining the civil service, she's worked in Bangladesh Institute of Development Studies as a natural research uh, organization, as a research officer. Currently, she's a joint research, sorry, joint secretary of government and working at the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, overseeing medical education, procurement management, physical facilities development. She's also worked with nutrition, occupational health, and safety policy in her previous engagement with the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. She's worked in the areas of nutrition, HIV AIDS, arsenic, behavioral change communication, and multisectoral collaboration program. Akhtar Mamtaz received a BA honors and MA degrees from Dhaka University and did her postgraduate diploma in Japanese studies from the same university. Ladies and gentlemen, Akhtar Mamtaz. I add that she is going to be giving us a perspective of country, government perspective of this new paradigm that we want to think of. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Good morning. This is Aktari Mamtaj, uh, Giant Secretary, Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Bangladesh. I'm welcoming you all in my presentation. You can see the Bangladesh country profile. Okay. The country area and total population density, life expectancy, maternal mortality rate, infant mortality, national mortality rate, and per capita income, which actually very much um, contribute in the improve use of medicine and um, in um, country people. Sorry. In the last, um, last two decades, you know, Bangladesh has made uh, considerable progress in development and sustaining high rates of um, economic growth and reducing poverty rates by 8% between 2005 and 2010. Uh, in 2010, Bangladesh received a Millennium Development Goal MDG Award uh, for MDG 4. And uh, Bangladesh is also currently on track of MDG 5. Bangladesh, very recent, received the award of uh, Digital Health for Digital Development Award in, 19, in 66th Assembly, UN General Assembly in 19, on 19th September uh, last, uh, 2011. This is for actually introducing telemedicine for um, maternal health and child health. And uh, I, I will mention quickly a um, uh, few more achievements. Uh, local, uh, actually, local pharmaceutical co um, pharmaceuticals contributes 90% of medicine production in Bangladesh. And leading 20 local companies have achieved recognition from international top regulatory authorities like UK, EU, uh, Australia, GCC, and other uh, regulatory authorities. Bangladesh pharmaceutical companies are now exporting medicines in 84 countries. Among them, you know, UK, USA, Turkey, Thailand, Singapore, etc. Director General of Family Planning, uh, um, Family Planning Supply Chain Information Portal we established um, has received two awards in e-health and e-governance category in the National Digital Innovation Award 2011. Uh, you know, um, pharmaceuticals is contribute a lot uh, to uh, uh, alleviate uh, the disease, and so pharmaceutical uh, system um, ro ro plays a great role uh, in, in improved use of medicines. So types of uh, pharmaceuticals in our country is, you know, allopathic, unani, ayurvedic, homeopathic, and herbal. You can see the um, production units. Government is loan unit, loan companies, essential drug companies, and the uh, distribution source is only government delivery system, and other production units you can see. And most of the private uh, um, uh, dispensing channel is, you know, the uh, uh, pharmacies or drug shops. Um, you know, government's tool for managing ph pharmaceutical sector and improved use of medicines. We have a dedicated department 
Directorate, of Gen Directorate General of Drug Administration, and we introduced national drug policy since 1982 and updated it in uh, 2005. Before uh, um, introducing the uh, drug policy, you know, our um, um, uh, market share our, our, of our pharmaceuticals, 75% um, was um, multinational companies and, uh, and the imported, imported items. And only 25% was uh, the local companies. But you see now at this moment, um, local companies, local pharmaceutical companies are contributing 90% of our uh, production. So we have drug control ordinance, uh, 1982, and re review it uh, in 2005. Drug rules regulations, and drug testing laboratory at Dhaka and Chittagong. That in two districts of Bangladesh. And uh, governments uh, also um, have, has an uh, essential drug list for health professionals updated in 2008 to ensure rational use of medicines. Bangladesh National Formulary last updated in 2006 for appropriate use of medicine. Uh, and uh, standard treatment guidelines for certain diseases, such as TB, leprosy, malaria, etc. Uh, management steps of pharmaceutical products in Bangladesh follows first registration. Any medicine need to be registered uh, before man manufacture or import. Uh, in our uh, Director General of Drug Administration. Then the selection, the um, concern authority committee select the drug, whether the drug will um, produce or, uh, or import uh, according to the quality, safety, efficacy, and usefulness. And uh, then production, after registration and selection, manufacturer uh, um, starts the production an importer could import. And next, quality assurance. According to national drug policy, Director General of Drug Administration ensured the quality medicine, uh, medicines available at affordable price and also ensure WHO good manufacturing uh, practice guidelines. And, and then procurement. According to requ uh, requirement, Central Medical Store uh, Directorate of Director General of Health Services and uh, Logistic Management Unit of Director General of Family Planning procure medicines and contraceptives for GOB service delivery centers. And government procures, uh, procurement follows the um, Public Procurement Act 2006 and uh, Public Pro Procurement Regulation 2008 strictly. And uh, the private uh, um, China, um, private uh, companies uh, who are importing, they follow the state's rules and regulations. And at the end, at the last, you know, the distribution. Government channel and uh, it, it, uh, the medicine dispenser through the government channel and private channel. Uh, we have uh, web-based and logistic management information system established in DG, uh, D Director of Family Planning Services that is uh, an, an inventory management software for Director General of Family Planning Services. At sub-district levels and warehouse level, we ensure good management of the contraceptives distributions. And we are going to establish a management, uh, procurement management web portal in the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Then we will um, track, online track, all um, starting point to bidding, starting bidding to the uh, supply, um, End, end supply uh, label, uh, all the um, procurement, goods, services, and um, uh, works, everything. So that, that um, web portal is now under uh, development. Um, you know, medicines, distribution channels in service delivery system public, and that there are four levels. National level, that is the specialized uh, hospitals institutes. Tertiary level, general hospitals. Secondary level, 
district hospitals and primary level is sub district uh, hospitals uh, union health facilities and community clinics actually I need to mention here the medicine supply first, um, the medicine supply chain private too. And there are uh, manufacturers and importers in private. So the uh, production and medicines goes straight to the pharmacies and uh, to other outlets such as uh, health centers and NGOs and um, uh, private health clinics, etc. And from importers also straight go to the pharmacies and other uh, outlets. Uh, actually, I, um, I need to uh, mention here, I skip this one. Okay. The stakeholders in pharmaceutical management in Bangladesh are pharmaceutical companies, public private, health service delivery facilities, public private NGOs, and health service providers, uh, public private NGO importers, manufacturers, distributors, medicine sellers, users and patients. And uh, source of medicine uh, for patients seeking care. Actually, at this moment, you know, 92% of patients getting their medicines from the um, pharmacies or retail outlets. Anybody can uh, buy any medicine without prescriptions at this moment. So there are challenges uh, to uh, face. Um, um, there are problems we identified and we need to uh, um, face those problems. We need to find out the way out. And uh, I would like to mention some few uh, challenges. There are many challenges. So I will quick mention, quickly mention a few. Uh, that is a lack of uh, effective monitoring system, actually. Inadequate management capacity of uh, effective import, uh, implementation of existing legislation and policies and guidelines. And quality assurance. Mm, of the pharmaceuticals um, coupled due to lack of independent lab for testing products. Actually, we have two lab in uh, um, Dhaka and Chittagong, but that is not um, very much uh, uh, updated. But um, one lab we are now updating in Dhaka one with the as, uh, assistance of the WHO. And also we are establishing a national drug control laboratory in Central and drug control laboratory in Dhaka. And um, there are challenges, uh, actually, inadequate trained staff in the uh, National Drug Authority and lack of affordability, GOB's resource constraints to pay for medicine procurement, and also the indi individuals to pay, uh, pay for medicines. Storage of manpower in national, uh, shortage of manpower in uh, national regulatory, regulatory authority. And there are challenges, uh, gaps and weaknesses in existing rules and regulations, inappropriate use of medicines. Anybody can buy, I mentioned uh, uh, that earlier. And lack of awareness and knowledge among users and availability of information. So we need to um, come, uh, come out from this situation. We need how to address these things. We, uh, what are the things we need to do to overcome this situation? So some few way forward we identified, we need to work for that. That is one, strengthen norms, standards, and policy options, promote quality of medical products, vaccines, and technologies. If, efficient procurement system to combat counterfeit and substandard medical products and promote good governance and transparency. 
strengthening capacity of drug administration authority, ensure equitable access, rational use, and um, quality medicine, monitor quality, safety products, vaccine, and technologies, establish active pharmaceutical ingredients uh, park, which could enable local pharmaceutical companies to produce raw materials. At this moment, you know, raw materials we import from outside. And we need comprehensive capacity building plan for all relevant personnel involved in supply chain management. Uh, effective expansion of introduced telecom telemedicine and e-health services. Automated patient registration medicines management system and establish procurement web portal that I mentioned a few minutes back uh, earlier that web portal under the procurement and logistic management cell of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, which could help to track online medicine procurement and supply. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all. Thank you very much for patience hearing. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Akhtar Mamtaz. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, we have uh, opportunity for two or three questions uh, reflecting on the country perspective that uh, Mamtaz has just presented. Uh, she has taken us through the development of, Pakistan, uh, of Bangladesh, what it has gone through, uh, capacity for local production of medicines, what they have put in place to monitor the quality uh, of, the, of um, local ph pharmaceutical production, and uh, how to address issues of quality, control, how to monitor the production, and how to ensure that the products are of quality. And of course, he has presented some challenges as well uh, uh, and proposed a way forward on this. Uh, I give opportunity for some two or three questions or comments, and then we can go on to the next presenter. At the end, there will be some time also for general comments and, uh, and questions. Uh, yes. Uh, I won't be able to recognize you from here, but you will be good just to mention your name and then uh, the question. Thank you. Good morning. Joshua is my name from Nigeria. <clears throat> I want to ask the presenter whether you have existing regulations or laws controlling purchase of medicines in Bangladesh. Do you have categories of over-the-counter drugs, medicines, uh, prescriptions only medicines? So why is it that anybody can go anywhere at any time without prescription to buy anything? Thank you. Thank you for the qu uh, queries. Actually, at this moment, I mentioned anybody can uh, go to the private drug shop and um, buy the medicine. We need to um, uh, find out the way how to address this issue. We are not yet able to address this issue. This is the common issues in our country, maybe on other developing country too. Anybody can go to the pharmacy, um, private uh, drug shop, and buy the medicine. So. This is the situation. Is that okay for your question? Please. Okay. Um, I have two hands down here, Paul Wako, and I can't see the. Yes, you can give that and then final to, to the front. Hello, good morning. I'm Sam Mustafa from Sudan. I'm asking uh, regarding the access to medicine about the health. Um, medicine financing options available in Bangladesh. Thank you. About whether there are options for financing of uh, medicines. Is this for individuals that go to purchase the medicines? Out of pocket or? Yes, okay. All right. 
um, actually um, financing government is uh, providing medicine through um, the, their uh, government service center uh, from a specialized, not all medicine, some uh, um, essential drugs government provided from their um, national level hospitals, specialized hospitals and tertiary level two, general hospitals and district hospitals, sub-district hospitals, union health facilities and community clinics. Uh, and individual can buy uh, his um, own medicine, own cost in the pri from private outlet. Okay, thank you. Um, I think the point there is that uh, whereas it is possible to get medicines from the public facilities, uh, individuals can also, uh, and this is probably on self-medication as well as prescribed. Self-medication um, could be um, possible in the private outlets, but not in the uh, government facilities. Okay. They are, um, health professionals are prescribing the medicine and they are getting medicine. Okay. Thank you. Paul? Makerere University. Uh, I seem to hear you talking about public pharmaceutical manufacture. And I'm curious to find out how government is supporting these uh, pharmaceutical manufacturing units in your country. Actually, we have a uh, lone government pharmaceutical company that is essential drug companies. Government is supporting um, uh, uh, these companies and all uh, the 80 percent of the government uh, um, uh, medicines those um, the government providing to, to the people that is procured from, uh, procured from the, um, this uh, essen uh, essential drug company and other 20 percent from the private uh, companies for government facilities. Okay, thank, okay, one, one last one, then, then we can proceed today. Yeah. Just, just a little comment, those who want to uh, either ask a question or comment, please stand up ahead of time so that the microphone can make it out there quickly so we shorten the time wasted. Okay, this last two, but please make it brief now. Yes, that's last two. Uh, thank you, Ms. Mamtaz. My name is Makumbi Tom from Uganda. I'm a pharmacist. Uh, in the distribution, in your presentation, in the distribution of medicines, uh, I don't know if you can go back there. Uh, you showed that the pharmaceutical, uh, private, I don't know if it's private, private pharmacies account for most of the drugs that the patients use there in the country. And uh, you also said that the government provides essential medicines to patients free of charge. Uh, do you know why the pharmaceutical sector still, uh, the private pharmacies, still account for such a big percentage of the distribution of medicines in your country? Thank you. Thank you for the question. Actually, government is providing very um, um, little amount of the medicine required for the people of the whole countries, actually. There's only few essential drugs the government is providing, but uh, um, people have to buy other medicines which are not uh, prescribed, not available in the uh, government fa facilities. So for that reason, and there is a good competition in our uh, pharmaceutical companies and, there is, and the price is also affordable. Hello, I'm from India. It has similar setup like Bangladesh. Um, I'm also presenting a paper here and my finding was it is not only anybody can buy the medicine, but the person who was supplying medicine was also not qualified enough to explain the proper use of medicine. And I think this issue was also important to improve the use of medicine. Thank you. Actually, you are um, mentioning regarding the rational use of medicine. Microphone, please. Sorry. 
the person was not explaining how to use the medicine and complete dose, its duration and its course and also the side effects to the patient. They were actually not qualified as a pharmacist. And this finding I'm presenting in my poster here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, right here.